So we were awarded a commission to design a contemporary art museum for Santa Fe. Um, the intent was we're, we need to design something that speaks of our time, that speaks of the programmatic intent to display contemporary art, uh, art within the building. And so I'm going to jump into this next slide, which is, go, go back, sorry. Um, which is a quote from Borges which, that I show when I do a presentation in Santa Fe that's really about the nature of authenticity. And for those of you who can't read it, I won't read the whole thing, but it's essentially about the fact that in the Quran, there's hardly any mention of camels because he didn't need to do that. And so Santa Fe is really about a style. We can go to the next slide. Um, okay, it will. Okay, that's fine. Um, and so in, in Santa Fe, we assume that Santa Fe style organically came from the place, but it's, it's a made up style that many people don't know about. And so the first, the 19, on, on this side right here, this is the 1918 museum, the, the building we all associate with the plaza. There's no adobe in that building. It's all brick. A group of people came together, artists, uh, anthropologists, historians, and this building is designed as kind of a hodgepodge of different styles and represents the Santa Fe style. The, the, to show the context, the new building we're designing is this lower piece right here. The original building is right off the plaza. Our building is an old warehouse building that really represents a great deal of authenticity. It's a brick warehouse building that was designed form and function correspond in that building. This shows an overlay of some historic districts that we've had to deal with in designing the building. And our design really evolves from the, the sense of place and what's happening around it, the zoning codes. Um, the, uh, the, the building is just north of Tomasitas that were, so it's the old warehouse building. It was an archives building the last use. It started out a small warehouse building, got larger, then there are several additions done to it. Right down the street from it is the old San Busco warehouse building. So this, the old warehouse building is just full of, you know, what you see is what you get. And um, it's charming. We, it's not a historic building, but we are in the design that we're doing for the building. We are honoring that, uh, that sense of authenticity, and it represents an, a rail yard warehouse building. Uh, our process starts with a public engagement. This, the top uh, portion of this slide is a collage that we had the community come together and help us make that described intention, aspirations, hopes, questions that uh, some of the slides there represent that. We then go through a, de a, a detailed analysis of needs, uses, adjacencies, diagrams that start to, the design of the building evolves from those, from those just, those, that analysis and understanding. So this slide right here, as, as we were just understanding what the building wanted to do, it's a, it evolved from a simple notion of preservation and gesture. So just as you have a universal thing of sheltering a flame from the wind, um, we're thinking, let's take this building and protect it. And so then the, the design of the building evolved around that. So this, these slides represent our analysis of climatic conditions, circulation diagrams, views, all the rest of it around the site. Um, it's a little unnerving because of p the pace of the slides and what I have to say. So, you know, we really want to create public space around the building. And the building starts to become a corner, um, a crossroads of sorts. Down here, this is the old historic train depot. You arrive, so the building becomes an arrival point for the city where you can, your first experience with the city, the city that wants to be defined by art as a place for art. This is, we work in, uh, build very complex CAD models, computer-aided design. So this is just a, uh, slide shows the evolution of the design as all the components, the structural and mechanical systems all start to get uh, integrated into the design process. These are some of the images of the building on the inside. This one on the left is, uh, starts to show how 
we want the juxtaposition between the old and the new to be a place where you can, is legible, the geometric juxtapos juxtaposition, to allow light to come in so the new building becomes a device to light the older warehouse building. The proportion on some of these slides is strange. It's a much longer building. But that's the old warehouse building. There's a mural on it right now, which is somewhat controversial. We have a metal scrim on there. The building is mostly solid, but we have these large apertures of light to bring uh, glass to bring the light in. The scrim, the outside skin of the building, evolved through a simple act of folding paper. We wanted local craftsmen, uh, lo local metal workers to be able to um, fabricate this stuff for us. So it's a very simple design. You just take a simple piece of paper, one fold, and so then the building starts to respond to all of those. This slide shows a, a view facing north. We needed to have one gallery that really celebrates northern New Mexico light. It seemed criminal not to do that. And so this, this piece, um, that upper uh, gallery piece is about that view right there. Was that the last one? Okay. <laughs>